Since buying my house a little over a year ago, I've decorated almost every single room inside, but I've yet to touch the outside. And there are some serious problem areas. This is the Sorry Girls, my name is Kelsey, and welcome to my series all about making my house feel like a home. Hi guys, and welcome back. My name is Kelsey, and this is Making Home, and Today we are starting a little mini series within Making Home and that is going to be my exterior renovation. When I moved into this space, I really did not think I needed to do any work in the backyard at all. And as I've lived here and the winter has come and go, I realized there is a lot that I need to do. There's a lot of problem areas that need to be addressed. So we're gonna get started on tackling that um, so that I can have a beautiful backyard space that I can hang out in and a very welcoming front porch because right now it's a little sad and very embarrassing. I like moved to the neighborhood and I'm just instantly embarrassed by my front yard. I have spent the last couple months trying to plan everything, pull it together, interview contractors, get somebody signed on to the project because it is a pretty big project. I actually had about four people, I think, come by and quote, but at least half of them were like, I can't even take this on, it's too big of a project. So we're in the position where my contractors start um, kind of towards the end of the week. Anyways, today I'm gonna take you guys around and I'm gonna give you a little tour of the outside and then we can just get started on some of the projects that need to happen that I can do myself. Shall we hit it? <laughs> so starting out here on the front porch, um, I've never loved this door. The color or the shape of it, I think we need more light in the front area. So I'm definitely gonna be replacing this front door. Over here, we need new flooring because it's kind of falling apart. I was thinking about just refinishing it. I definitely think it'll make a bigger impact if I just relay some boards and do them horizontally. I did want to do stone up here, but fun fact, stone is really expensive. Also, we're gonna remove these baseboards while we're at it. I don't know why there's like baseboards outside. It just looks silly in my opinion. I need to recap the stone up here because it's falling apart or either capped with wood because I think it's falling apart. And um, obviously we're just gonna make it nice and cozy up here. Um, this is gonna be like my upstairs tenants area because I have the backyard. So I'm gonna decorate it and furnish it and everything, but it's gonna be mostly for her to hang out in. And you'll see I have the shutters here on the ground and that's because I have these white stark windows and on my brick, I think it just looks a little dated and obviously a more muted or black window frame would be ideal. But because of all the detail in my windows, I can't really just easily paint them. So my thought was to bring in some black shutters to tone down the whiteness of the windows. I think it'll work. <laughs> my front steps need a lot of work. We have holes um, and obviously the concrete is just not the nicest vibe. So I'm gonna be redoing this whole area. I have these two half walls. For some reason this one's wood. This one's falling apart. Um, so definitely a lot of solutions that have to happen here to spruce this up. And then of course my slightly messy garden. This is all going to be kind of trimmed up and refinished to be a little cleaner. This is a shared driveway, which is not actually even a driveway. I cannot park a car back here, but obviously this needs a lot of work here. It's weeds, it's messy, it's uneven. This is a giant problem area, one of those things that I did not see when I bought the house and that's because the water drains super awkwardly over there under the stairs in my backyard but then it all comes back out here and it just destroyed the concrete so I'm going to redo the top of this so I think I'm going to be doing stone pavers but that's something I still haven't finalized with my contractor and then over here this is kind of like nothingness right now what is under here? Hello? There's just a lot of pipes coming out and around. Glad to see nobody's living under there though. Anyways, so I'm basically going to be doing what this is, which is, you know, doors that open, but instead of it being short like this, it's gonna be up this high. I'm gonna do a bench on that side, and this is where I'm gonna put my garbage. I've seen this solution a lot in Toronto, and I think it's smart. You get bench on one side, storage on the other, and then you can even open up the bench on that side and put your garbage in there, you know? We'll come back to the garage in a sec, but let me show you the backyard and the back porch. So this is my back porch, which actually is really, really cute. Um, obviously this pergola peak thing came with the space. 
um, and I have wisteria growing on it, which actually should be blooming soon. When I was touring this house, I actually saw the backyard last and I was kind of standing in the back looking at this structure and I was like, I think this is my house. <laughs> so anyways, that's the story. Although now I'm like, it's kind of a little cottage core for my liking and ideally I would kind of paint it and freshen it up a bit, but I think that's a later issue because I do have the greenery already coming through this season and I'm definitely not gonna cut it back, it's so pretty. But there is still a lot to do up here. I wanna blow out these railings so that this whole space feels bigger and I wanna refinish the deck because there's actually a lot of rot going on here. Um, so it's time to just refinish it. And since we're going to be putting that bench in here, which is going to tie into the whole garbage system, um, I'm going to redo this privacy screen with something more kind of like just horizontal slats because I think this looks quite dated. The furniture I have up here is actually just stuff that was from my old patio when I rented my little Toronto apartment and I actually had a small little deck. I wanna do something different up here. I don't want it to be as loungy. I will kind of want it to be a table situation here where I can sit and eat at or work at. And then that will obviously be the built-in bench. So I might get some um, pillows for it or set a portable barbecue on it. Um, but we won't be needing this here. I'm gonna see if it works on the front porch maybe, but um, I think I definitely need to switch it up up here. Okay, and back here is my little backyard, although I kinda wanna call it courtyard. I think that's more of the vibe that it gives off with the stone. Um, and I wanna make it feel like this little slice of old heaven. And old as in, it's been here for a while, it feels lived in, but still a little modern. So my plan for back here was to make this the loungy, cozy area because it actually gets a lot of shade throughout the day because of these trees. But, as you can tell based on the garden beds, there's like nowhere to put furniture. You can maybe put like one tiny little couch here and the goal was to always have a big cozy sectional that you can lay in the corner of. My plan is to actually remove all of the garden beds along this side and instead do one across the back here because you can see that it doesn't even go all the way to the end. And I have a major, um, again, water drainage issue where it just kind of pools at the bottom of the corner of my shed here. So I'm actually gonna have the eaves dispersed into the garden bed, which I think is a win-win. But unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this lilac, hydrangea, hyacinth. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this flowering tree because it's kind of taking up a lot of space where I want my couch to go. But I do wanna do some um, evergreen greenery in the backyard so that in the winter, I can have nice little snow capped trees instead of just like nothingness you know we need a nice little combination of evergreen stuff as well as some flowering plants and then I'm just going to be doing a lot of kind of larger planters that I've already started accumulating from online I've been getting some good seals like big planters for like 15 bucks and I'll put plants in those and that kind of gives me more flexibility I can move those around and I'm not tied to some built-in garden beds so these doors actually go to my garage. So my garage has like the larger doors on the front and then these people doors on the side. Whoever put these in, these are like interior doors, I believe, because they are not holding up to the test of time. So they definitely need to be replaced. Not to mention they open up into my space, which again, this backyard is tiny. So the plan here is to do ideally some sliding doors so that I still have the door access, but they don't take up space in my backyard. That's the plan, hopefully it works. Anyways, I've kind of locked these up because they're sketchy and I don't like to open them. So let's go in through the front of the garage. So this is my garage space. These doors definitely need to be replaced. They don't open and close fully. They think they're original, but they are very worse for wear. Um, and I don't love this brown color. So I'm actually going to paint the whole garage, which I'm so excited for. I think I need a new light too. But anyways, come on in. In here, I just need a lot of, hopefully, aesthetic storage. Like, I want it to look very beautiful. Um, again, the lattice is just not it for me. I think it looks super dated. So I will be taking that down maybe today if we're feeling up to it. This is a space that I kind of share with my tenant just a little bit. So we have three bikes total. I need to do some bike storage, which I think I want to do here. And there's a lot of stuff that's at my parents' house that they want me to take. <laughs> like my tires, like bins of Christmas decorations and stuff. And I have very limited storage inside since I live in my basement and that's where most people would keep a lot of their stuff. So I'm gonna be doing kind of shelving across the back 
where I can keep all the stuff that's basically on the ground and all the stuff that's at my parents' house right now. They do have this really beautiful uh, flagstone and this circle medallion in the middle. And if I can find it, I'll insert some pictures of what this space looked like when it was first completed because when it went through a makeover, I think in the early 2000s, so about 20 years ago, it was in Home and Garden magazine. And it was really beautiful what they did with the space. Definitely a little cottage core vibes, but the whole backyard area, um, there was a fountain. This was decked up as not storage, but more of like a, inside outdoor indoor outdoor space um and it was very quaint and cute so i definitely want to revive it and bring it back to some glory with it still being helpful for storage a little bit to do in here but i think some small upgrades are going to make a big impact what i really don't know what to do is with this wall like i kind of want, want to just do like wood slats but wood is hella expensive that's gonna be like a like a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar wall <laughs> That's dumb. That's so dumb. I think that's the full tour. And knowing that my contractors are starting soon, I think I just need to prep everything for my contractors to come. So I kind of want to like clear off the deck and everything. They're actually not doing anything in here. This is all me. So I think my focus is going to start with clearing things out and the garage. This is my, my front door paint. Don't need any of this. That's from the old, the old owner. She left me a lot of paint that was used in the space. This one's from 1999. 1999. They chose the color of the front door and it shows. I have so many half open bags of soil and I don't trust all of any of them because last time I did like a pot replant, I got fungus gnats. And I have to assume they came from the soil because they were instantly in every spot in my house and I never had fungus gnats before. So I don't know what to do with this stuff, y'all. What's a fungus gnat? What's a fungus gnat? Is that what you just said? Yeah, they look like fruit flies, but they live in your plants yeah. instead of on fruit. Oh my god! It's a huge! Although I was just at a cottage and there's dock spiders, which are like, so. So that was a cute little baby. See, we don't trust the soil. We don't know who's in it. These, this is outdoor soil only. I'm gonna keep my indoor soil inside. Free, the last interior come get it baby we ain't got time for this oh my god look oh my friends want me to show you more my friends my friend is also this is all my friends <laughs> climbing in and out of that one part that i didn't patch up and then this is really my friend just a chunk of fur the garbage bins are right here, so they would just like play on the garbage bins. Okay, also this I bought to go inside, but I think you can also use it outside and it could work on my front porch. Yeah. <laughs> now I think it's time to deal with this lattice. be going in the garage. While 
climb up here. This stuff is crazy and just grows nonstop and it likes to climb my house, which you don't want it to because it will start getting in between the brick and not be so good for your house health. So I like to train it to come down this side. So I do this about once a month. It's a little retraining sesh. Uh oh. Sometimes there's casualties. <laughs> So good, babe. Free! <laughs> There's free box over there. We love free stuff. We love garbage day. Should we go see what's in it? It looks like wallpaper. <laughs> Steve wants to go. Let's go see. Oh my goodness! Wallpaper. Do we love? I love her. Do you want her? She's really pretty with like their oxidization. I yeah, I know. Do you want her? I think you should take it for now. Somebody should have it. Someone needs it. The office needs it. The office probably too. Someone will get a good use out of this. Do you want the blue one? That one would fit in my house. Danish pastel. Danish pastel, eclectic, mid-century modern. Um, I just need you guys to know that although I didn't sing the song on camera, I did sing the song Did I turn off the breaker? Yes, I turned off the breaker. Did I turn off the breaker? I don't want to die. And Rachel just also had the really good idea of seeing if I can mount that little guy to this little guy. And then like look at this ugliness. I would have to like paint and stuff, so. I'm here for that, I think. Is this, okay, let's figure out if this is even gonna work with this as the base. Thank you, please line up, please line up, please line up. Please line up, rotate, rotate. Oh, oh my God. All we need to find is either a screw or a little nutty bolt to go on that. Great idea, Rachel. This is why you're on Team TSG. Okay, but this can't go back up until I get those screws. We started a lot of things today, but this is something I want to finish since I first moved in. And I feel like these railings really close in the backyard, the already small backyard. Yeah. So I think it's time to get rid of them. Open it up. Using <laughs> this little saw. I don't know how far we're get. <laughs> this is all I had, but let's see here. Okay, so my saw died, so I couldn't get this other post off. But, this is the way the backyard was meant to be. So much room for activities now. So, so. <laughs> There's no obstruction of eye. <laughs> yeah, we can hang out. You pull up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, that's a reason why I want like a small folding table kind of to the side. Yeah because this is the only place in the backyard to work out. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I went to Home Depot yesterday and I found what I need to find to make this light work. So I'm really excited. It'll be easy, they said. She has an idea. What? Oh. My idea is I hope this works. Now, we wire. How many holes do you think ended up getting cut in those beans? This is like the jelly bean. 
conversation. Yeah. How many holes do you think? Should we do a are contest? In my pants? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> you heard it here first. There's gonna be a contest for how many holes you think are in these jeans. What's the prize? Rachel's gonna count later. <laughs> this was her idea. Uh, what is the prize? The pants. No, I'm just kidding. They're, They're my pants. too good. <laughs> um, but let's do a good prize. Let's do. Future Kelsey here. How about we do a $200 Etsy gift card and I'll donate $200 to the charitable organization of your choice. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter that. Something else I've been wanting to do since moving in is remove all of the messy dead wiring from the side of my house. Pop her out. <laughs> and repeat. I think we're good. I think we can take this one out too. <laughs> Looks like it. Oh. I mean, I would like to take out the things, but. Yeah. And like, I can't wait to just like, have all this stuff in a pile and be like, look at all this literal junk that came off of my house. Yeah. I never use this ladder this way, but it's time. today's the day. I'm a little afraid of heights. If you guys first. didn't know that, mom, I love you, dad, I love you. Oh, that one didn't even have a plug. Bye. Oh my god, how the f am I actually gonna come up there? Okay, so it's off. Now I just need to cut it. Or pull it. Oh my god, it's just gonna pull out. Yay! The pull out method. <laughs> the other one's higher. <laughs> Coming down. I never used to be afraid of heights. You're good, you're good. Like, no, and nothing happened to me. Like, what trauma? Well, more, also, like, like, when you're a kid, you don't read stories about people falling off of tall things and dying. Yeah. When you're a kid, you're just like, me! You're like, I will be fine because they're so resilient. And then so you, as you get older, you realize you're become a little less resilient. <laughs> I was too scared, Steve Steve just decided to go up there. We were going to make our tool to pull it down. And I come out and Steve is on the ladder. Tell me you climb without telling me you climb. When Steve just hopped on the ladder. <laughs> like, and he's actually having fun. <laughs> <laughs> he prefers it. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for a break. Okay, it's finally time to put up these secondhand shutters, a hammer drill, a masonry drill bit, and some concrete plugs will get the job done. And of course, I had to do shutters on the upper window too, so I'm climbing through the window of the upstairs unit. I can't really figure out how to fully take out the windows, but I don't think I need them. No, we're, we're flexible enough. <laughs> there you go. Okay, this is what you do, because then you can, Oh, oh is this going right there? Yeah. Can you pass us the tools? We did it! We See you ran. next! See you tomorrow! <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day and the contractor comes tomorrow. I'm having a meeting with him tonight to go over and finalize things. I still don't know what's going on with the quote. In my head, I was like, are we even going through with this? And he was like, I'll see you Wednesday though. Today's Tuesday, so. We're just going with it, okay? Um, but there are some things that I need to do before he gets here because I need to make sure there's like patio lights back here and also I don't want them to rip up the garden so I'm going to dig up some of the garden and hopefully just keep it in like 
bins so that it doesn't all die. And also, remember those shutters I put up? Um, yeah, I didn't realize that the top window is actually shorter than the bottom window. So I'm having a real Dumbo effect on those shutters. So I actually happen to have some shorter ones that I got when I purchased the shutters off of Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna try to swap them for those and hopefully the smaller ones work. Measure twice, as my mom said when I told her that the shutters were too big. Fun fact, I've probably put up like three different sets of string lights and three of them have gotten cut. Um, I thought I had just like psycho back neighbors, but I did see somebody on our backyard makeover at the office say that they can't put up string lights because the squirrels cut them. It just like, it, that really does not look like it is chewed through. It's just like such a clean cut. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I put up my next ones, cause like, I don't wanna pay for that. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at this slick metal part Kelsey's rocking today. We like, I like. It's unfortunate because we can't use the previous holes that we just drilled because the new shutters are a lot shorter. I'm making a note. Oh. <laughs> Tell me. Let's see. That this looks fantastic. <laughs> Is that my only option? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, way better. Before the contractors come, I need to save any plants that I want to keep. Where does one begin? She's thinking. What do we want to save? The hasta? Any tips on saving plants? Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I saw some people saying that I should collab with a gardener and I 100% agree. If you guys know any YouTuber gardeners that wanna help me figure out what to put in my backyard, help me to figure out how my wisteria can bloom, please recommend in the comments down below. Baby plant growth is like the coolest thing. Look at those little babies. So cool. Nice. <laughs> Just a big old bin. It's a temporary situation. Situation. <laughs> I really like this kind of ground cover -y stuff. Yeah. This does not seem like proper gardening technique. <laughs> is that insulation? Like, yeah. Like that does not seem what we should be doing. Yeah. We're going to get this fixed right up. Good morning. It's the day that the contractors start and I have a few more plants to save in the front garden. And since one of the next steps is getting literally new steps and a new walkway, I'm at the stone yard looking at samples. The contractors are here, and first up is lots of demo. Dem, dem, demo.
guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Making Home. If you guys do want to win that Etsy gift card and charitable donation, make sure you click the link in the description down below. There's going to be a form where you can fill in your guess of how many holes are in my jeans. I actually don't know yet. I have to go count. Well, you guys count. <laughs> and if you've made it through this whole video and you're not yet subscribed to the Sorry Girls, please consider doing so. You're gonna see more makeover videos, DIYs, and it means a lot to us. And you get to check in on the next episode of Making Home, which speaking of, this is what's coming up next time on Making Home. This exterior makeover is moving along so quickly. I'm so excited. And I also think my friends that visited yesterday are quite excited. Uh, you're so cute but they're wondering when their deck is gonna be done. And I think it's gonna be done soon. Thanks for watching, bye.